Good morning, brothers and sisters. This morning's scripture passage comes to us, like many of them in our current season, from Matthew. This should sound familiar, uh, especially to any of you who are part of our diocese, for this is, uh, this is the phrase our former bishop, Dan Edwards, used to use at the offertory sentence. And the passage is this, do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth where moth and rust consume and thieves break in to steal, but instead store up for yourselves treasures in heaven where moth and rust do not consume and thieves do not break in to steal. For where your heart is, for where your treasure is, pardon me, there your heart will be also. Where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. This, uh, this pandemic quarantine that we, uh, we have been going through and enduring is, uh, like many things actually, uh, a curse, but in also some ways a blessing. It's a curse for obvious reasons. I don't have to go into what... Uh, what the pandemic has prevented us from doing. Um, But I I do want to say a word or two about the blessing component of it because there there have indeed been blessings sort of baked into this. Um, This enforced time of, of solitude or time away has given us an opportunity to look at what really matters to us. Where are the things that we spend our time on? In other words, where are we storing our treasure? If you have used this this quarantine time in the service of others, then that tells you that you, you place a value on other people. If you have spent time calling other people, praying for other people, doing your best to to find ways to feed people, then that tells you something. If not, and hey, this is a judgment-free zone, my friends, if this time of uh, pandemic has caused you to sit on the couch and eat a lot more ice cream and watch a lot of Netflix, well, again, no judgment, but that too should tell you something. What I hope to do with this morning's message is, uh, is to give you sort of a new lens with which to view your actions and your thoughts, just in the hope of giving you some perspective and some things to think about and some things to ponder. The other thing that occurred to me about this as as we begin to come out of this time, and let's, let's just put aside the arguments about should we, shouldn't we, will we, won't we. Um, we, in fact, are starting to very slowly emerge from this, this enforced time away. So uh, let's put aside the argument about that because I want to ask you, what are the things you have picked up and what are the things that you are still not doing? That, too, is a lens with which we can view our, our world and our actions. Um, and I will tell you, I'll share with you uh, quite candidly, I, I enjoy working out. I enjoy going to the gym. Anybody who knows me from 20 years ago is probably laughing furiously right now, for that was not me in the day, but it is now. Um, and yet, I find that I have not returned yet to the gym. I'm just not comfortable with it, and for a variety of reasons, I, I'm not doing that. I've, I've found other ways to exercise. I'm walking a lot. I'm doing a lot of push-ups, and uh, so I've found a way around that. Um, I didn't think that I would be in a real hurry to return to restaurants, and yet I think on day two of the, their opening, Jen and I found ourselves in one, and so... I guess that tells me a little bit about where I place my, uh, my value and my, my wants and my desires. No ahas for you here, my friends, because for, for each of us, it's a different journey and it's a different experience, but I want to think about where, what that means for me, 
what my choices mean, both what I did during the quarantine and what I'm starting to pick up again and what I'm not yet ready to pick up again. For each of those is sort of a data point and they give me a glimpse into who I am and who I want to be. I encourage you all to do the same thing. Look at the things that you did while you were enforced into a quarantine. Look at the things that you have picked up since you got back. You know, was the first thing you did rush to uh, the nail salon or was it to uh, the, the local bar and the casino? Um, wh what was it? Were you out shopping? Did you desperately need, uh, you know, some new clothes? What was it? Was it a haircut? Um, yeah, there's a reason I'm wearing the hat, my friends, because uh, we all have a little bit of corona hair going on. Uh, what was it that you jumped back into? Again, without judgment, but just as a data point for yourself to think about and to pray about and say, what does this mean? Have you found other ways to cope? I, I know a woman who uh, loves to bake and uh, early in the quarantine found herself baking every day and then realizing that if she kept that up that her clothes weren't going to fit very long so rather than stop baking she found a uh, she found a way to honor that she called the local firehouse and they were only too happy to take those cookies and cakes off of her hand and so she took it upon herself to create this little ministry to feed the local firefighters that's a great way to serve both of your needs. So what did you do? What are you doing? And what will you do? How are those things going to feed you? And my brothers and sisters, how are they going to help you to love God and to love your neighbor? Ponder these things. Pray about them, meditate about them, and see what that might mean to you for where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. God bless you.